Hi, my name is Justine Corte. I'm a major in public health management and policy um, and a third year student at OSU. I chose to come to Oregon State specifically for the public health program, given that I wanted to find myself somewhere in hospital administration, somewhere down the line. So I thought that was a great way to start. Leaving Sacramento, I wasn't scared to come to OSU, given like when I came to do my official I was like, oh, this is great. This is like my dad could see it totally in my face. Like this is where I was going to wind up being. But I definitely felt like I was going to be like a sore thumb, like sticking out because it's it's not common to have so much diversity um, at Oregon State. But I knew that I was going to be part of a very unique group. So I thought that was really cool. So the BSU is a student led organization that accepts multiple students. Any students are welcome to come. We right now are at about 32 in our organization. Every year we usually go to a conference. The last two it's been in Texas, which is a student leadership conference for black leaders. Every term we usually do a fundraiser. We hold events such as Straight from the Soul. We help with like Kwanzaa events and we usually link with the BCC for their events that they hold, such as like Juneteenth and things like that. So Lonnie B. Harris Black Cultural Center, we also house the D9, um, which is the Divine Nine, which is our sorority fraternities that are historically black. I got involved like the second week of school. It's not common that a lot of freshmen get hired there. One of my friends, Hanaya Farrell, actually contacted me and was like, hey, like if you're ever part of BSU, like if you ever want to get part of something that you have more people that identify with your race, definitely join us. So I went there and I think like two weeks later they asked me to apply for the peer facilitator position and I did that and it was great. So I did that for my freshman year. Coming into my third year, I'll now be acting as the president of the Black Student Union, which is really nice. So I'll be in there a lot more often and I'm working there this summer as well. Just get students in there and engaging with the community. And it's a great community to be a part of. A lot of students like to welcome you and be in there. My first year, we even had students who worked there that didn't identify as black or african-american um, which was really great because then it made people feel more welcome to come in and that's one thing that the cultural centers a lot of students think oh if i don't identify as such i can't enter that cultural center and that kind of broke that boundary for them my experience as a whole has definitely impacted like my well-being and like how i present myself on campus given that when you share your experiences with students who share your identity and share your values and things like that, it's knowing you're not the only one on campus that is experiencing what you're experiencing and like you can have a mentor or you can be a mentee to someone and have a conversation about that and talk about how we can fix that or how you can be more comfortable or if that person needs to enroll in that class with you because that's definitely happened for us where I was like hey I don't want to be the only black student in that class anymore like you should take this class with me. I'll say what you're willing to tolerate what you're willing to handle as a student is big because when it comes to like your academics that's kind of something that only you can control but when it comes to like your relationships with people outside of that it's how do you maintain those and how do you build them and how do you network and that's just one thing that as a student that's very vital for your well-being. One thing I will say that coming to OSU that I've learned about myself is how much of an impact you can make not only in classrooms but like your voice really matters. A lot of things that I have done with the community have been stepping out of your comfort zone and learning that like it's okay to not feel comfortable all the time when you're in classrooms in the classroom setting or when you're in a small secluded group that's very intimate and just speaking your mind and making sure that people understand how you feel as a student because your, your voice matters to the point where you're the only reason why this school like kind of exists is because of the student body that is on campus.